What's good, YouTube fam? It's your boy over at Kicks vs. Kicks. My name is Sean. Unfortunately, Billy could not be here. If you saw our last two videos, you know exactly why. But if this is your first video viewing, it's because Billy is sick. And if you're wondering, Sean, why are you wearing the same outfit, standing on the same carpet, the same position with no shoes on still? It's because I'm making these videos back to back to back. Just getting them out of the way real quick so we can get on to another Kicks vs. Kicks battle for you guys, which is what our channel is mainly about. Um, if you don't know exactly what that means, check out our first video. It will explain it very well, but I'll do a brief little thing right now. It's just me and Billy put on a pair of sneakers, same price or genre or both, and we just do reasons why we think um, whichever one is better. We let you guys vote. We'll either advance it on or we'll um, eliminate it or whatever we want to do. We'll to do two different ones. Blah, blah, blah. That's not important. Here today we are um, talking about a sneaker deal. So I love to hear input, which I always tell you guys, whether it's positive or negative. And just let me know. You could say that's a stupid trade. That's a good trade. I would have done the same thing. I would never do that in a million years. My feelings won't get hurt. I'm a big boy. I could take it. Um, let me know. I mean, it's not negative. Some of you guys have different opinions. Everyone's entitled to it. So let me know whatever you guys think. So enough with the bullshit. Right into the trade now. So I had a pair of Jordan 10 Steels, the white and black colorway, which you are all familiar with, I am sure. And I am getting into Nike SBs. If you haven't seen my last two videos, I explain why. I'll do another brief uh, reasoning why, and then I'll be done with that. But anyway, so I so they're VNDS those. You know, worn a couple times, blah blah blah. And I think these are a dope pickup, especially in uh, my bigger size, size 12. I got the Nike SB Quagmires. Now I did get the OG box. I'll show you guys in a minute why I can't show that. I did explain in my last video. But OG box, not OG laces, one of each, but also I've mentioned in a previous video, if you guys go to fully laced, if you guys don't have OG laces for one of your Nike SBs, they do have the actual fat Nike SB laces for sale around six bucks a pair. So that's a great deal. I'm going to put one of them down so I can get more into the review on one of the sneakers, the details and quality. So here we go. We have the Nike SB Quagmire. I'm not going to get fully into detail because you've guys seen plenty of reviews. I'm sure you all know what this is. If not, I'm sure there's a better review out there than what I could even say or do. So here we have it, size 12 Nike SB Quagmire. Now this is based off the hit TV show Family Guy. This is similar to Quagmire's shirt, and the blue is supposed to represent his pants. So this is like pretty much rocking his old outfit. I think this is a dope sneaker. I love the show Family Guy. I think it's hilarious. Always loved it even since I was younger. And, you know, now I could really have a piece of it by wearing it on my feet. Um, I've wanted these sneakers for a long time. So when I saw these, I had to get them. I actually live in Oceanside, if you're familiar with that. Drove all the way out to Queens to do a meetup with the guy. Because I really thought it was worth it. These are in great condition. As you can see, I haven't done any work to them. No Jason Mark, no Rejuvenator, nothing. And I do have that stuff. Bottoms are clean for the most part. The white's not dirty. And very, very minimum uh, toe box damage. And by damage, I mean there's a small crease. But these could be either stuffed or I have shoe trees. So, I mean... There's not really a problem. So this video was the quickest. It's not like two for two, one for... There was just a one for one. I mean, quick, simple meetup. And um, I'm very happy with it. I don't regret it for a second. I do love Nike SBs now. Um, I'll explain why, like I have in my past two videos. Sorry for you guys who have already seen them and heard this speech multiple times. But anyway, it's just because I really do appreciate the quality difference between a Jordan and a Nike SB. The Nike SBs just blow it out of the water. I mean, all the materials are so buttery and soft from where you put your uh, foot in the uh, insoles, everything. I mean, the, from the tongue, just it's just all better quality. None of it's stiff. It's all loose and lets you be free. Your, and your foot has support at the same time. Also, I appreciate the themes to it as well. I mean, I just think they're dope that I can go from... I'll grab a sneaker real quick for you guys, for all you guys that haven't seen my previous videos, but I can go from a freaking holiday 
St. Patrick's Day to, as you already saw my video, you saw the the quagmires. I mean, from a, a hit TV show, Holiday, then you have a sneaker from a comic book or a movie, Hulks, all that stuff. I mean, I got Miss Pac-Man's, a whole bunch of stuff. So, I mean, then you just compare that to like a simple colorway, like Fire Red 5, Black Tongue, or... I mean, Fire Red 5 with a 3M tongue. I mean, I couldn't even think of a new name. But don't get me wrong, they're fresh. I do still love Rock and Jays, but I just think there's so much more thought and time and all that put into these Nike SBs. So for now, I do appreciate Nike SBs more. You guys might think I'm out of my mind. Let me know in the comments what you like more, Nike SBs, Jordans. Don't just give me a name. Let me know. Let me know why. Explain yourself a little bit. But here, I'll show you guys why I couldn't really get the Quagmire box. Just because, you know, the Nike boxes are stacked to the ceiling, literally. And the Quagmire is in the middle of all that. So, I mean, if you guys really want to see the box, then I'll put it in the next video or some nonsense. But I doubt any of you really care. And if you do, definitely messing with me. Anyway, guys, that's it. You saw us steal 10s for some Quagmires. I'm happy with the trade. Let me know what you guys think. Like I always say too many times, I love the comments, the input, all that stuff. Please subscribe if you haven't already. That's always appreciated. I'm Sean saying peace out and have a good one. And Billy couldn't make it today, but he wants to let you know, guys know that he appreciates you guys watching. And he says much love to the YouTube community. All right, guys, have a good one. Peace out.